everyone's so lovely and a, it's a really nice community to be a part of and to keep being invited back is hmm. lovely. Yeah, we love being here. <laughs> with everyone's just as it's a lovely, bubbly, safe environment and everyone just lets themselves be themselves. And it's just always just really lovely being here. Happy, in a happy place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just listening. It's just so true. Like everyone's so nice and just bring you things. And you've done it so many times. You've met people that we've seen at mm. other conventions, and they're still like bringing you little cupcakes and just We're super sweet. Many of super now. sweet. Mm. Yeah. So, have you that? Is that sort of typical of your fan interactions when you come to Comic Cons? that you see familiar faces and you get given presents or is it a distinctly British thing that you think? I mean, now we've done enough. I don't know about, because um, we've only done one Comic Con overseas. Um, so it's hard, to, it's hard to tell really, but our, it's like our little crew that come see us the now. core fan base that we have, yeah. they're always, yeah. they very dedicated, we love them to bits. We got given some amazing drawings of our characters today. Mm. All of yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. Chat with Christopher. He was great. He does lo lovely little portraits of ourselves. Um, lovely. And yeah, always given, being given stuff, which is just awesome. <laughs> it shows how much they just, just how lovely they are. And just, yeah, have this cupcake, have that. It's really sweet. They don't need to do that at all. <laughs> um, it's lovely enough chatting to people and having that, you know, knowing that they. Um, they care about the show. It's just, mm. it's enough, and, and chatting to people, and it helps, you know, helps us. It helps our days go by. <laughs> Here, just chatting to lovely fans, and yeah, it's good fun. Um, for me, I would just, I would have liked Grant to eventually find himself, and not you know, be s as traumatic as he was throughout the first season, you saw him and find himself like happiness. Um, and just be more, just open with the fact that he knows he needs friends rather than, you know, sca scared to admit and almost trying to appear like this alpha male who doesn't need anyone, but in actual fact his friends are really helpful and he needs them a lot, so just become more mature and understanding of the people around him and just less uh, traumatised. Less blood. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I would like to see um, more of April's relationship with her father. See how that kind of pans out. They left each other. That would be cool. Um, I mean, you know, they kind of made amends, and then she was very much in control. I want to see, yeah, um, how, how her relationship with her parents evolves, and um, obviously, it would be nice to have her own body back because she <laughs> ended up in Korokinus's body. So how that transformation would happen, I don't know. But um, yeah, and I think uh, just carrying on, I, I, I want to know, because now it was left that Charlie was the Shadowkin king. So obviously April no longer has her powers, but she's grown as a person in strength because of that. And relationship with Ram. Um, yeah, again, just like moving into maturity and being more worldly wise and see how they can defend the world in different ways without the powers. Yeah. Uh, but I guess for Charlie, it's just the fallout of um, him losing his entire race, I suppose. <laughs> um, and his relationship with uh, Mateusz as well. That's obviously going to be very fractured. He's just going to be a bit of a broken character uh, after the first series, uh, and to see how and if even he recovers from that would be really cool, and a really cool acting challenge. That, you know, would love to do one day, but who knows? Yeah, we'll yeah. see. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. If you could, each of you, write an episode or a storyline without any consequences, no matter what's already happened or what might be going to happen, so you've been given the magic typewriter, so to speak, what would you really like to do in your... Um, I was obsessed with Buffy and like anything to do with 
um, like magic and, and kind of like magic powers. So obviously like Harry Potter and Merlin and uh, what else did I love? Oh, the Worst Witch doesn't count because it was like a kids program. <laughs> But yeah, anything to do with, with like wizardry or something like that, I would <coughs> I'd quite like to, to study um, for April to study magic. That would be cool. That somehow. would be really cool. Somehow we'll weave that in. Yeah. It's possible. Mm. <laughs> and what's it like being sort of part of the, the Doctor Who spin off family? Because you've you've already mentioned you know Torchwood and Sarah Jane, um, and there's you know the 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 cartoons that are online and the podcasts and the the audio books. Mm -hmm. So now we have class, which is you know it's it's set in a static area, but you do have that time travel element as well. So do you do you feel like it is a Doctor Who show, or do you feel like it really is a standalone kind of thing? I think. Um and I'm interested to hear what you guys think. I mean, it does, I think if you haven't watched Who before, I think that it doesn't rely like solely on the history of Doctor Who. You don't have to have seen all the series. So in that element, it is a standalone show, but we're very proud to be part of the Doctor mm. Who world. Um, and I think adding time travel to it would be an amazing element, and I think for series two, I know that was a plan. It was as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think seeing more elements, like there's little Easter eggs from who, but I think mm. seeing more elements come through would be really nice. I think yeah, that's exactly right. It's it is essentially a standalone show mm. um, within the Doctor Who universe, and that is that's what Patrick Ness really wanted it to be. He really wanted it to be its own thing its own identity, just with reference to um, having been in, in that part of that universe um, without having to rely on it, but also very much drawing from that and paying homage to it as well. Um, so yeah. Yeah, but it is its own drama really, isn't it? Yeah, it, has its own, it does have its own identity. Mm. It's, it's, very, it's very different from the others. Yeah. Each one is different, which is really nice. You know, they've all got their own signature, mm. which is lovely.